or if you have, you probably are super tired. So, but I'm still gonna do the yoga and you're just listening to your body and doing whatever it is that you feel like doing. And in the meantime, I'm so glad to be at movies even for just a little tiny bit. It kind of makes me feel that I'm still part of this big community. I still hope that everybody's doing well and miss you guys so bad. Text me and yes, let's have a 4.30 cocktail party one day. And we can even throw in some yoga moves or Tracy Anderson moves. All right, we're looking at more people joining in. I have a couple more minutes here. I am looking at what's the time now? Good. Let's see, Sarah. Hello, hello. Hi. Hello. There you go. So when I start, I would really love for you guys to turn off your mics because if they're on um, and there's some kind of a noise, the computer will automatically switch to you. Let me see if I can actually do that as well. I'm just trying this. I Look at that. <laughs> All right. Hello. Hi, Mona. Good morning. Yeah. You too. Trying. Okay. Uh, I think we are ready. So, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Everybody should see me pretty well. I'm going to move slightly back just in case. All right. So, the word of the day is grounded in a good way. Kind of really grounding yourselves into what is happening, moving all negative thoughts out of your mind, closing your eyes, standing nice and straight. Take a nice deep inhale and lift your sternum, lift your chest, open it up, and with an exhale, open your palms, facing forward, move your shoulder blades together, and drop your shoulders. Take another nice deep inhale, and with that, maybe lift your chin just a little bit, and with an exhale, once again, pull your shoulders down. Once again, nice and deep inhale through your nose, and a long exhale as you pull your shoulder blades even closer together. With your next inhale, open your eyes and reach your arms up. Let's get out of our way here right now and reach with one arm toward the ceiling and then with the other. And again. And again, like you just waking up, even if you have been doing like one hour of Jordanus, just feel the body in a slightly different way. Now go ahead and grab your right wrist and with your left hand and pull, pull, pull to the left. Come through the center with an inhale, switch and pull to the right. Come through the center, place your hands together. I'm gonna to turn around. See if you can give me a nice big arch, but go easy, you're just waking up. Lower your hands to your heart center, drop your shoulders down and continue folding forward. Come as far as you possibly can. Drop your hands on the floor. And if you are not touching the floor, Put something there that helps you, or you can always place your hands on your shins. With your next inhale, lift halfway, and with an exhale, drop down. And again, lift halfway, and drop down. One more time, lift halfway, 
Drop down, small from your knees. Place your chest on your thighs, drop the head, relax your shoulders. Breathe. Expand your rib cage over your knee. One more breath. And with your next inhale, go ahead and lift all the way. Come to a really round spine, lifting back into a really straight spine. Roll your shoulders back. Inhale, lift your arms overhead, place your palms together and again. See how far you can lean back and forward fold, keeping your back as arched as possible. Good. And once again, lift halfway with an inhale and drop forward with an exhale. And again, inhale, pull your shoulders back, keep your back arched if you can, drop. One more time, neck is long, and drop, soften your knees. Place your chest on your thighs, keep your shoulder blades together, lift your arms above your head, take a nice deep inhale, and with an exhale, lift into your chair pose. Inhale, and with an exhale, lift into mountain pose, hands to your heart center. Good, step side to side, reset, readjust your shoulders if need be. Once again, lifting all the way up, and we're gonna go to the left, hands together. Try not to cross your thumbs here. Lift through the center again, and lift, and drop to the right. Lift through the center again and drop back down, arching a little bit steeper here. Hands to your heart center and once again, dropping all the way down. Good, soften your knees, drop your chest on your knees, reach your arms above your head and come into chair pose. Inhale and with an exhale, mountain pose. One more time, inhaling, opening up. And I'm rotating so you can see what is happening. Lean to the left, a little bit more extended here. Bring your hips to the right side of your body. Inhale through the center and to the right. Extra breath here as you're pressing your hips to the left. Coming back to the center and again, lean as far back as you can and hands down, arch back and we're dropping forward. Place your hands on the floor and bring your left leg back. Your right knee is going to be right over your ankle. Your hands are either on the floor or on the blocks, whatever works here. Good, go ahead and drag that left foot back forward. Knees are still bent, right leg goes back. Watch, opening things up, keeping chest really open, shoulders back, hands are on the floor, or if you need something else to, maybe a couple of books or a pillow. And once again, drag your right foot all the way in, release your hands, drop your hips down, and we're back in chair pose. Reach your arms so that they are right where your ears are, but please do not bring your shoulders close to your ears. Pull them all the way back. Release your arms behind you, clasp your hands, open up. This is how open our chest should be and release your arms again, inhale, and with an exhale, lift all the way up. Inhale, and with an exhale, swan dive. Soften your knees, left leg goes back, right leg goes back, drop your knees on the floor. Knees are aligned with our hands. Our hands are aligned with our shoulders. Roll your shoulders up, back and down, drop your belly down, arch your back. We are now in our cow. Gently lift your chin up, but try not to overdo it on your neck. Just a little bit. Like you're opening your throat and you are really opening your chest. That part is the most important one. And now we're gonna go ahead and round our back. So you're squeezing your belly button, pressing the lower back out, tucking your tailbone under, dropping your head, breathing into the distance distance between your shoulder blades. This should go really, really, really good. Roll your shoulders up, back and down. Once again, drop all the way into that 
beautiful arched back. And now go ahead and bring your left hip towards your left shoulder and switch right to right, left to left, and right to right, left to left, and right to right. Good. Tuck your tailbone under, open up into the calf, and move slightly forward and back, keeping a big, big openness between your vertebrae. Two more times. One more time. This should feel like something really good is happening throughout the spine. All right, roll your shoulders back, soften your elbows, tuck your toes, and come into downward facing dog. All right, first time we're opening up our calves here. So go ahead and pedal your feet. Keep dropping your chest down as much as you possibly can. Keep that arch in your back if you can. Inhale, right leg rises. Bend your right knee and rotate it so that your knee is now pointing towards the ceiling. Keep your hips right on top of your left and keep your shoulders still very square so that you're really in that twisted position at your waist. Now go ahead and look in front of you. If you need to come on your left toes, bring your right knee towards your chin and from here continue on into placing your right foot between your hands right now if you are still not sure if you're new to it feel free to drop your left knee on the floor otherwise go ahead and lift up through your chest and swing your arms first behind you and then all the way up breathe this is the ground your right foot is fully on the floor, your chest is open, the left heel is off the floor, and oops, hands come back down on the floor, right leg goes back and all the way up one more time and then place it down on the floor. Inhale, then with an exhale, left leg up, bend that knee, rotate. You should feel a really wonderful stretch in your left hip flexor. Rotate the hips, press that right heel into the floor as much as you possibly can. Keep your shoulders very square. One more breath. Rotate, come on your right tippy toes if need be. Bring your knee towards your nose, towards your chest, towards your chin, and then continue with placing the left foot between once again, if you're not ready, drop your right knee on the floor. Otherwise, your left knee is right above your heel, and we're opening up. Swing your arms behind you. This helps to open up your chest, slightly arching the back and lifting. Breathe. Ground into your left leg. See how far you can bring your hips down. One more breath. Release your arms back on the floor and go ahead and open up the distance between your hips and your mat and left leg goes up first, dropping back down, come back onto your knees and once again, drop your belly down, open things up and with an exhale, round your back, tucking your tailbone under. Two more times. You're inhaling, opening up. This is also called the breathing cat. I kind of like that name a little bit more than cat and cow. But that's just me. One more time. Arching, opening, breathing in, and releasing all that air, pushing it out. Very nice. Drop your hips on your heels. If there is space, walk your fingertips a little bit farther forward away from the top of your head. Stay a little bit active here. Do not drop your head quite yet. I want you to feel a good stretch under your arms, in the lower back potentially, slightly in your hips. 
shift your body gently side to side like I said this is an active child's pose and although it is definitely comfortable I want you to feel that you're doing something here lift your chin look in front of you roll your shoulders back drop your elbows on the floor your arms are parallel to each other inhale and with an exhale start to move forward bring your chest as low as you think you can and back just warming up our arms here and again forward just go as far as you can if you can place your chest on the floor if you cannot don't worry about it going back one last time forward keep your back very arched pull your shoulders back and back very nice from here lift your elbows off the floor we're going to go for our first chaturanga of the day inhale and with an exhale elbows are off the floor you're reaching your chest forward and back and we are up in our cobra Roll your shoulders up, back, and down. And again, up, back, and down. One more time, up, back, and down. Very nice, tuck your toes, inhale, and with an exhale, downward facing dog. Please keep your back very arched. Inhale, right leg rises. Place that foot forward, rotate your right, left foot placing that left heel on the floor so that you are very diagonal and your heels are in the same line. Inhale and with an exhale, open up into warrior two. Strong. Open chest, open belly, shoulders are down. Maybe roll them, sit as far behind you as you possibly can. From here, reach your left arm behind you. I'm gonna turn so you know what I'm talking about behind you and place it on into your right hip crease if you can if you cannot reach just place it somewhere on your right hip with this rotate your right palm to face the ceiling and lean back open up the chest look up make sure that your right arm is open and you can see the ceiling quite well inhale and with an exhale, we're going to move forward, releasing our left arm, bringing our right forearm on the floor and left arm above on the back of our head. Chest is still open. Once again, inhale and come through warrior two, reversing it with the right hand in the right hip. And again, moving forward. One more time, opening up and extend the side ankle. Wonderful. Warrior two, one more time. Go ahead and windmill your arms, placing them on the floor, right leg goes back, on your knees, on your toes, chaturanga. Inhale, open up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg rises. Bring that left foot forward. Rotate your right heel and open up into warrior two. Once again, left knee is right above your left ankle. Strong, very, very strong arms, shoulders pulled away. Breathe. Open up. It's a strong pose two places where you are grounding your left foot forward your right one is diagonal beautiful reach your right arm now and once again i'm going to turn around so you see what i'm talking about placing it as close to your left hip crease rotate your left palm up inhale and with an exhale lean as far back as you can look up make sure that that left arm is on the left side of your face, sit into your left knee as far as you can. Inhale, and with an exhale, release that, moving into extended side angle. Right arm is now 
behind your head. Pulling shoulders back, opening your chest and your belly, big rotation. And now we're gonna do two more fast. Inhale, and with an exhale back. Inhale, and exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, and back, reversing your warrior. And exhale forward. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, windmill your arms. Left leg back, downward facing dog. Sorry, chaturanga, downward facing dog. Right leg rises. Bring it to the outside of your right hand. Rotate your left heel. Release your left arm towards the ceiling. And once again, drop that arm behind you. Good. Settle in here. Your neck is active. You're really trying to drop into your hips. Left hand is inside your right hip crease. If you can reach there, release your right arm. Palms facing up. Three. Two. Relax the shoulders. Chest is open. One more breath. Release your right hand back on the floor. Release your left arm. Bring your right leg back. Inhale, chaturanga. Inhale at the top, down dog. Left leg rises. Bring it on the outside of your left hand. Rotate your right heel. Open up. And from here, continue on with that right hand into your left hip crease. If you cannot quite reach there, Leave it somewhere on your lower back. What's important is that you find your balance. You relax through your shoulders. Inhale, and with an exhale, lift your left arm. Three breath, just like on the other side. Left hand comes back down after your third breath. Release your right arm, release that left leg, and drop your knees on the floor, roll your shoulders back. Go ahead and drop your hips now. We're back in cobra. Gently shift your hips side to side. Good, look over your right shoulder. Look over your left shoulder. Lovely. And come back into tabletop position. How is everybody doing? God, I so wish I could hear you guys. <laughs> All right, so we're going to stay in tabletop position for a little bit, and hopefully you have plenty of padding for it, your knees. And if you need to give your hands a little break, make sure that you rotate your wrists. Engage your core, keep pulling the shoulders back and then turn around so that you know what I'm talking about. So try not to bring the shoulders up towards your ears. A very, very long neck is so very important. You're gonna go ahead and release your left leg. You're gonna go ahead and release your right arm. Take a nice deep inhale, lengthen, and with an exhale, round your back and hug your left knee with your right hand, pressing it towards your chest. And again, open things up, chest, arms, shoulders, and with an exhale, just grab that knee, hug it to your chest, feel good about your knee. One more time, nice and long inhale. And with an exhale, go ahead and do that again. Place your left knee on the floor, Place your right hand on the floor. Reset your balance. I know this was definitely hard on the left shoulder. We're gonna give it a little break. Right arm, sorry, right leg, left arm. 
Beautiful. Inhale, start to round your back as you're bending your knee, pulling it in, catching that knee, pressing it towards your chest. And again, nice and long inhale. If you end up taking several breaths, don't worry about it. But try and work on really lengthening both your inhale and your exhale. One more time. And exhale. Very nice. Replace, reset. Come into child's pose for me for just a minute. Knees are slightly apart, hips are back. Extend your arms, drop your head this time on the floor. Relax for three breaths. Don't think about anything other than really relaxing your body at this point in time. We will be so nice and open after this. I promise, promise, promise. Good. And once again, shake your way out of it. Just slightly move your chest and your shoulders. Wonderful. And from here, we're gonna go ahead and place our elbows once again on the floor. Our palms are going to be into the mat and we're gonna drop our hips forward. We're gonna open up our chest. We're gonna arch our back once again. We're going to take a nice deep inhale and exhale. We are in Sphinx. Keep pulling your shoulders back. We're going to go ahead and find our first challenge. Tuck your toes. Inhale and with an exhale, come into a plank. From here, I need you to go ahead and rotate your left hand and put it where your right elbow is. From here, rotate onto the left side of your body and reach your right arm all the way up. Do not stack your legs. Keep everything separate so you can very easily slip right back into space. One more breath. And from here, back in. Right forearm comes on the floor. Left hand, drop back into space. See if you can open your chest just a tiny bit more. Inhale, with an exhale, tuck your toes and lift into the plank. Right hand comes to where your left elbow is. You start to rotate onto the two edges of your legs, reaching your left arm as high as possible. It becomes uncomfortable, drop that right knee on the floor. One more breath. Inhale again, and with an exhale, come back in. Drop your hips on the floor, ground yourself. So we're gonna go into a fallen tree. You can just repeat what we have done, or you can go ahead and find yourselves with me in the fallen tree. I'm gonna turn around so I can see what is happening. Inhale, open up, and exhale, hips up. Left hand comes to where the right elbow is. And we're releasing ourselves, opening up. So both of my feet right now are on the floor. You can stay here, or you can release that right leg and drop your right foot either on your path or your right left in the thigh. Three breaths again. At this point, feel free to bring your right arm over your ear and toward the floor above your head. One more breath. Release, bring it back in, and we're coming in the opposite direction. Drop your hips first, readjust, reset. If you have lost your breathing, this is a good time to catch it. Right hand to where the left elbow is. Sorry, <laughs> come into plank position first. Right hand where the left elbow is, rotate and lift. And once again, for your next three breaths, either fall a tree or side plank, and two variations of the fall and tree. Two more breaths. One 
wherever you are, go ahead and rotate back and open up, straighten your arms, your palms are still on the floor. Inhale and exhale, bring the shoulders back. Very nice. And drop your belly on the floor, bring your arms behind you, clasp your hands, inhale and with an exhale. Press your knuckles away from the top of your head. And if you can, lift both of your legs, pointing your toes and keeping your knees very straight. One more breath. Beautiful. Release your hands on the floor. Come and sit nice and comfortable, cross-legged. We're gonna do a few twists. And once we have opened the twisty part of our spine, we're gonna start incorporating them back into what we have done so far. So roll your shoulders back. If it's hard for you, you should be pretty warm by now, and it should not be really very hard to keep your spine erect. But if it is, you can always roll your towel and place it under your tailbone. Open up. And with an exhale, rotate to your left. Open up, your right. Again. Inhale, exhale. One last time, reach, making that twist just a tiny bit deeper and inhale. Reach your arms to sides. Inhale and with an exhale, rotate. There's no more anchoring with your hands. You have to use your body in order to go as deep as you possibly can. And again, keep moving. Inhaling through the center and exhaling as you move into your twist. And again, going through the center to the right. One last time. Chest is open, do not lose your chest. Shoulders are so down, neck is really, really long. Last time to the right. Wonderful. Place your hands on the floor, place your feet together, knees together, push yourself into a chair pose. Good. You are at the very top of your mat. I'm just moving around so that you can see me from every single direction. Inhale, open up through your chest, and with an exhale, rotate your body and hook your left elbow against your right knee. Press your right hand into your left hand. Keep dropping your hips as low as you can so that your heart is higher than your hips. Try and move that left knee so that both knees are parallel to each other. One more breath. Inhale through the center, and let's repeat that on the other side. Right elbow, left knee, left is pressing into your right hand, you're dropping the hips, you're pulling your right knee back. One more breath. Come back through the center and release. So we have established the base, and now we're going to start working from here. And again, Shoulders back, you're strong, you're breathing, drop into the chair. Inhale, with an exhale, rotate to the right. From here, go ahead and lift your left foot. Place your left foot back on the floor. Inhale, comes through the center. Right elbow, left knee, you are in rotation. Lift your right foot. Place your right foot softly back in. Come through the center. Left elbow, right knee. Send your left leg back into lunge. Press your right hand, coming around. Into your left, rotate, open up. 
belly open, chest open, one more breath. Inhale, and with an exhale, step your left foot forward. Come through the center, and right to left. Open up, rotate, send that right leg back. Settle into your spine, into your balance, and rotate your tummy. Good, look back down and bring your right foot forward. Next to your left, we're back in chair pose. Lift up, inhale. Exhale, swan dive. Soften your knees. Left leg back, right leg back. Inhale, chaturanga with an exhale. Downward facing dog. Right leg rises, bend your right knee. Rotate it towards the ceiling. Inhale. With an exhale, bring it forward. Knee to your nose and place your right foot on between your hands. Rotate your left heel. Open up into warrior two. We have been here before. Inhale. With an exhale, reach your left hand into your right hip crease and lean as far as possible behind you. Peaceful warrior two. Inhale, and with an exhale, we're coming into extended side angle. Take a relax. Everything should be open. So because you have your right forearm on your right thigh, this is a little bit easier. Once again, inhaling, opening up. Exhaling, extended side angle. One more time. Wonderful. Finding your way into warrior two. Bring your arms forward. Release your left heel. Right leg back. Chaturanga. Down dog. Walk or jump forward. Feet between your hands. Lift up into chair pose. Inhale. With an exhale, rotate to the right. Hook your left elbow and your right hand is pressing into your left hand. Look down and bring your left foot back. Beautiful. Open up your arms. Bring your right hand behind you. Good. Release your left arm. Three. Your variation is just to keep your left forearm down and pressing into your knee. One more time. Bring your hands together. Look back down. Left foot comes forward. We're back in chair. Drop your hands on the floor. Down. Inhale, chaturanga. Inhale, exhale, down dog. We'll repeat that on the other side. Left leg up, left knee forward, placing that left foot between your hands, rotating your right heel, and opening up into warrior two. Ground, reset, inhale, reverse. Right hand inside your left hip crease. And with an exhale forward into extended side angle. Extra breath here, finding our shoulders, finding our bellies there. Once again, inhale. And with an exhale, come back. And exhale forward. One more time, inhaling. And exhaling, peaceful warrior. Inhaling and exhaling, extended side angle. From here, warrior two. Move your hands back on the floor. Release the right heel. Left leg back, chaturanga. Inhale it up. Walk your feet towards your hands. Find your chair. 
Inhale. Exhale, rotate to the left. Left hand is pressing into your right. right and find that right leg back. Beautiful. Open up your arms. Feel free to stay here or continue on with bringing your left hand behind your right hip and releasing your right arm out. Three breaths. Inhale once again, release it back, hands to your heart center, move down, bring your right foot forward. Chair, mountain pose. Place your hands behind your head. Inhale, and with an exhale, drop your head into your hands, open up your chest. The back is arched, but there's very, very little effort here. Breathe. Inhale, release your hands together and your arms behind you one more time, leaning as far back as you can, really opening your chest, forward fold. Good, place your hands on the floor, soften your knees, and go ahead and come into boat. We'll do a little time to the core. And then we're gonna stretch. Everything we have done today definitely had a lot of core in it. If you're not 100% comfortable, every time you come back from low boat into high boat, just go ahead and grab yourselves behind your knees. The important part here is that you really do not slouch here, do not round your back, but you also don't want to overarch. Everything is neutral. Everything is about strength, and we're going to go very slow. With your next inhale, we're going to go into lengthening of both your legs and your upper body into low boat. And with an exhale, we're coming back. This is a good time to grab your feet or, sorry, your knees or your calves if you want it to continue on. And again, inhale and exhale. Inhale. Just go as far as you feel comfortable. As long as you feel that the core is engaged and your lower back is comfortable. Three more times. Two more times. One last time. Hug your knees if you can. Keep your feet off the floor, giving ourselves a little break here. Your next one is going to be either in high bow or in low bow. It really depends on how advanced you are or how much you want to torture yourself this morning. So I'm gonna go with two variations. Four on one and four on the other. Once again, we are in high boat. Nice deep inhale, releasing our arms overhead and bringing them all the way down. If you're ready and want to, go ahead and do that in low boat. If this is too much, come back into high boat. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Hug your knees. Pull them gently towards your chest. Drop your head on the floor. Pull your shoulders back, relax. Place your feet down on the floor. 
Place your right thigh on top of your left thigh. Shift your hips up. Rotate your knees to the left side of your body. Drop your left hip on the floor and then release your feet and go as far with your left knees to, uh, with your knees to the left side of your body as possible. Arms are at a T. Big, big stretch, both for your obliques and for your hips and for your lower back and for your entire spine. Keep your right shoulder on the floor as much as you can. Ten more seconds. Relax your breathing. Go ahead and lift your knees. Reset your hips. Switch your left thigh is on top of your right thigh. You're lifting your hips up. You're rotating to the right. Right hip drops on the floor. And now you're going to go ahead and release your feet off the floor and then drop both your feet and your knees to the right side of the body. Keep your left shoulder on the floor. Release that. Go ahead and release your knees. Take a nice deep inhale, stretch. And with an exhale, go ahead and start to peel your spine off the floor. Arms are helping you. Coming all the way into a seated position. Bend your right knee. Place your right foot on by the left hip. Align your knees. Take a nice deep inhale and lean forward. Stretching your lower back, stretching your hamstrings. If you cannot reach your toes, use your towel to help you with this. Just go as far as you can. We're here for 30 seconds. It's all about pressing your chest into that knee. This is what really allows for a nice deep stretch in the hamstrings. You can use them today a lot breathing going. 10 more seconds. Relax your shoulders. Definitely relax your neck. Gently release that. Coming all the way back from here on. Everything is just a stretch. Right leg is out. And you're going to bring your left foot as close to your right hip as possible. You're going to align your knees. Even if it does not go all the way down. Just align them so that we are going in the same direction and then lean your chest forward and then reach and do whatever you can to grab your toes. Breathe into it, 20 more seconds. You should feel it in your lower back. You should definitely feel it in your hamstrings. And the more you pull your toes in, the closer they come to you, the more you will feel the stretch. And you keep doing that on your own, even when I'm not around, and your hamstring is going to be so awesome. Wonderful. Release your toes, and go ahead and walk your way into a comfortable seated position. One last time, we're going to reach all the way up and lean to the right, opening the left side of the body, coming back through the center, feeling so much more open, or I hope you do. I so hope you do. I'm going to try and open the mics here so that you guys can actually talk just a second with everybody. <laughs> Take a nice deep inhale, and with an exhale, place your hands to your heart center. And thank you very, very much for joining me today. Namaste. All right. Can we open the mics? Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much. How is it?